Miraculous Memory Loss, a Miraculous Ladybug Fanfiction, Part 4, Story and Audio by Snowflake and Clover YouTube Channel. Ladybug hoped she hadn't dressed wrong. She had put her hair in a bun and pinned a flower in her hair. She didn't put on a dress in case an Akuma turned up halfway through. She landed next to Shat and looked around. It looked perfectly normal. Ready to go, Bugaboo? Shat picked her up and put her on his shoulders. Hold on tight. Ladybug had no time to realize what was going on before Shat jumped. She held on for all she was worth. It was amazing, exciting, and scary all at the same time. The wind undid her bun and hair tumbled out. The wind was actually harsher than she had thought. Wow. How was that? It was amazing. How many times have you done this before? She suddenly noticed they had attracted a large crowd. It wasn't every day that Paris's superheroes jumped off the Eiffel Tower, after all. She got off of Shat's shoulders and landed in front of him. Where next, kitty? Shat cracked a smile. Ladybug would never have done this before. We are getting ice cream. Really? Where? I know the perfect place. Ladybug's reaction really surprised Shat. She laughed. She had laughed at one of his puns. Did that mean all her seriousness was a facade? He fingered her hair for a few seconds before Ladybug playfully flicked his hand away. Let's go, my lady. Before she could protest, Ladybug was whisked up into the air. You know, you don't have to flirt with me anymore. But you know I love it. He winked and continued. Ah, here we are. They ended up near a river with loads of boats. Shat walked up to an ice cream man and whispered something in the guy's ear. The man nodded and got out. Well, it's an honor to meet you both. Have fun. He waved, then left. What was that about? Ladybug couldn't understand why the ice cream man had left. We are going to sell ice cream. Shat pulled her inside. Ladybug couldn't believe it. She was inside an ice cream van? Wait. Do we get to design them? If the answer was yes, it would be amazing. Even if it was a no, it would still be fun. Yes, let's get started. Shat still couldn't believe she had agreed to do this. It would probably take him a couple days to get over this. Ladybug took some strawberry, blueberry, chocolate chip and mint ice cream and got to work. After about 10 minutes, she had made five Lady Noir ice creams. Shat was amazed at how it had turned out. He had been driving in the front and somehow Ladybug hadn't noticed. The ice creams consisted of two scoops. One looked like him and the other that looked like Ladybug. Can I try one? Sure, let's share. She opened a box and rummaged around till she found two spoons. Okay, wait. Share? He almost fell over. Ladybug grabbed him just in time. Are you okay? She pulled him up. Hey, guys. Ali had managed to track them down. What are you doing? Wait. Are those Lady Noir ice creams? Alia opened her purse. Can I have one? Ladybug passed one to her. No need to pay. Just post on the lady book, okay? Did you make these? Alia licked the ice cream after taking a picture. It tastes amazing. Hopefully you'll have more customers. Bye! Alia walked off while waving. How does she keep track of us? Shat wondered, almost dropping the ice cream. Don't drop it. Do you want to eat it now? Ladybug passed one of the spoons to Shat. A couple minutes later and the ice cream was gone. Alia had managed to catch a few sneaky pictures without them knowing. They got to work on more ice creams whilst laughing and chatting. An hour later and the van was a mess of ice cream, sprinkles and cones. Ladybug had sprinkles in her hair and Shat was covered in ice cream. Right when they finished cleaning, the ice cream man walked in. That break was nice. How much did you sell? When he found out, he looked astounded. A hundred? You're good for business. Shat passed him the money he owed. Thank you very much. This was fun. Shat shook hands with the man. Let's go, princess. He walked out of the van and put a blindfold on Ladybug. Hold on to me. A few minutes later and Shat landed. Ladybug had hated being in the air with a blindfold. Even though she trusted Shat with her life, it just felt really reckless. She wouldn't be able to land if she fell. Okay, we are here. Shat removed the blindfold and Ladybug gasped. End of part four. To be continued, subscribe for more.